Crofton is a planned neighborhood in Anne Arundel County, Maryland, which was listed in Money Magazine's Top 100 Best Places to Live Twice. The schools, parks, golf course, and convenience to Washington, D.C., Baltimore, and Annapolis are just a few things in its list of amenities that make this neighborhood so appealing. Crofton was the vision of Hamilton Crawford, a developer from Mississippi. In 1963, Crawford acquired 1,600 acres of land on which he would build a community that would have the appeal and charm of Williamsburg, Virginia. Crawford established Crofton in 1964. The neighborhood began as a small gated community that surrounded Crofton Parkway. The parkway was lined with mature trees and beautiful homes as it was planned to become the center of the community. It soon became home to two elementary schools, an 18-hole golf course, town hall, and the village green. Crofton is no longer a gated community, however, the gates remain as a symbol of welcome for visitors and guests. Over the years, Crofton has grown to include much more diversity in housing. What was once a small community has now become a much larger and sought after place to live and raise a family. Crofton has great sports programs and exceptional public schools. Generations of families have been raised here, all describing the neighborhood as a great place to grow up. Crofton was a great place to grow up as a kid, and I still have friends that I associate with today from those days, and we all say the same thing about what a great place it was to grow up. So many activities right in the community. It was, it was perfect. It was like the perfect place to grow up and be a kid. You were allowed to do anything you wanted to do. It was totally safe. You could go anywhere, hop on your bike, and pick your plums and crab apples off the trees and eat them. There was nothing you ever had to worry about. A guy named name Johnny Walker from Ohio. And he said, what you better do is to take a look at Crofton. I came out here and it was, it was great. We had to leave our apartment because we were having a big event. The second child was about to be born. We moved in one week prior to the delivery date and I had a two-year-old in tow. Elizabeth Jane was the first little girl born in Crofton. We moved into Crofton in 1985. Mm -hmm. And um, why did you move to Crofton? Uh, we wanted to be in a nice area that had a good community where the boys could get to school and scouts and, you know, everything very conveniently and very nicely and be around a lot of friends. And my husband was working in D.C. at the time, so it was in between there and Baltimore, which was good for us. Well, I had come to Washington and lived with my aunt in Mount Vernon for quite, for several months. That was kind of a bad bad, bad commute. So I tried, tried to commute from the west, from the north, Montgomery County. I found out that they had a golf course, which was good. I found out that that when I went to work in the morning, I would be going to work with the sun at my back, and when I was go, going home, the sun was again at my back. Uh, major consideration. <laughs> It's where my heart is, it's where my security is, it's where my love is, it's where my family and friends are. My husband and I both grew up in Crofton and went away to college but wanted to come back so we could raise our family here. A uh, very peaceful place. As you can see, we uh, can bike here without very much difficulty. Nicely kept, uh, beautiful area. It's uh, close to lots of the, the conveniences, the city of Washington, uh, Annapolis. But on the other hand, it's uh, 
sort of uh, uh, an island onto itself. It's ungated and wide open, but uh, people here uh, respect the area, they respect each other, they behave themselves. It's a really nice place to live. Many notable people have come from and lived in Crofton. Spiro Agnew, Johns Hopkins, and Bill Belichick, to name a few. One of the neighborhood's favorite attractions is the Crofton Country Club, which boasts an 18-hole golf course and is the pride and joy of the community. Many birthday parties, weddings, social events, and community activities were held at the Country Club and still are to this day. The same barns used to dry tobacco before Crofton existed still stand and serve as storage for the golf course. Although the area has grown significantly over the years, it still maintains its close-knit community charm. To this day, the residents of Crofton have maintained the original vision Hamilton Crawford had for this community. But it's always been home, always been home. My brothers have stayed here, um, and this is where I always feel home is. I feel like we were one of the last generations to really enjoy being kids and being free. Uh, there, I don't know whether it was because there was no news anywhere, but we, Crofton was a safe place. Uh, we could roller skate, um, take our bikes out across the golf course to the back lake. Um, our parents would basically kick us out of the house and say, just, you know, come back when it's dark and the street lights are on. Uh, doors were unlocked. Uh, it, it was an amazing time. Uh, it's very different today. having your homes built there was a certain layout for the for the lot all the houses of this type had to have the driveway on if you're facing the house on the right on the left side of the house so this is where the driveway went and this is where the entrance door was my father didn't like that idea he wanted a driveway on the other side but they would not allow him to change it it had to go on this side so the day they put the forms in for the driveway that night, he, my father went out with a couple of his friends and tore all the forms up, moved them to the other side of the house and regraded it and made it look like that's where it was supposed to be. So the next day when the concrete trucks came in, they poured his driveway on the side of the house that he wanted it on. He got in trouble for it, but they didn't move it. So this was the only house that had the driveway on the wrong side of the house. 1964. I came right out of the military and in, into Crofton. I liked the, the convenience of the community. Bob had the, the best for learning golf. <laughs> so golf played a big role in this community. Yes, it did. Golf here is very nice because what uh, Hamilton the owner, he figured everybody would join the golf course. He was surprised when they didn't all people that I worked with in the NSA and said, tell them, here's where you want to live. <laughs> So who was your first customer? Who was my first customer? Yeah. 
Louis Davis, the lake in the front. It's named after is what? Lois. Oh. Mrs. Davis. Well, her husband was my first one. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be the duplicate of Williamsburg. The church down the street here, it's the same church in Williamsburg. He, he told me all this stuff. How long have you been in Crofton? In Crofton, I've been since 1974. Wow. I was on a village green for 10 years. Then me and the landlord, Mr. Chuck Diarco, which everybody, when they hear their names, are his name. <laughs> and they've been in Crofton for a long time, then they know who you talking Chuck Diarco is. Hmm. So then I moved across the street, Chelsea House. I was there for 20 years. And then I moved back over here 10 years ago. So I've been in Crofton altogether, it's 40 years. Wow. There was nothing in Crofton. There wasn't even a gas station. And I didn't have a car. So a lot of the young moms, and we, a lot of us were together with babies and strollers and baby carriages walking the parkway and going to get our mail down at the Village Green. Uh, everything that you needed in town was down at the Village Green. The grocery store, barber shop, hair salon, doctors, and all that kind of thing. Everything that you needed was right here at the Village Green because there wasn't anything anywhere else. They had a Christmas tree decorating program um, that they did up at the Village Green. They used to cut down a, a tree and then take it and plant it in the Village Green and then have everybody come in and decorate it. For a community that still controls its own maintenance and its own police department and its own you know, streets and its own committees and things like that, that's a, that's a very big plus. Not everybody has that. Crofton's very unique in that in that manner, you know. Great schools bring added value to this community. Crofton is served by the Anne Arundel County Public School System. In the beginning, there weren't any public schools in the neighborhood. Children attended the old Carver School and the old Millersville Elementary. The county would soon build schools to accommodate the residents of the neighborhood. Crofton schools are some of the top performing in the state as well as nationally. Crofton Meadows Elementary, Crofton Middle, and South River High were recently named Maryland Blue Ribbon Schools. Crofton Meadows was also recently named a National Blue Ribbon School. Well, we came in, it was 1964, and there were no elementary schools. And first, I attended Millersville Elementary School in the old wood building, right on 175 and Route 3. And then a year or two later, the new Millersville Elementary School was built. And then from there, I went to uh, Arundel Junior High and Arundel Senior High. I worked in Crofton, not originally. I worked in Bowie as a teacher of preschool children. And then when I applied in Crofton, it was an interesting story. My daughter was a, a brownie for the Girl Scouts. And she used to have her brownie meetings at Crofton Elementary School. So I went there one day to bring her, and while I was there, I walked into the office. And in the office was this woman, and I said, I would like to be a substitute. How would I go about being a substitute? Gave her my backgrounds that I had taught in New York City schools for three years and in Bowie. And so in speaking to this woman, she asked if I would teach all subjects. I said, definitely. And as it turned out, that woman that I spoke with, whom I did not know, was the principal of Crofton Elementary School. So I was hired as a substitute, and then when a position opened as a permanent substitute, I was hired as a permanent substitute. They don't have permanent substitutes any longer, but at that time, a permanent substitute would go into work every day. If a teacher was absent, you would fill in for that teacher. If no teachers in the school were absent, you did clerical work for a teacher, or you took a small group and worked with them with reading or math, and that's how I got into the school system in Anne Arundel County. And then the next year, I was hired permanently as a first grade teacher. Bus stop, in, uh, a school bus stop in Crofton. It was right at the end of my driveway, and these are all the kids out there. This was about 1965, I believe that was. And uh, so the bus stop was right at the end of my driveway, so I couldn't miss the bus, didn't have that luxury but it was a lot of fun.
Crofton has a lot to be proud of. This well-kept neighborhood is full of history and pride. Its homes are brought to life by the community of people who value its traditions and seek to preserve the way of life they truly enjoy.